was was um, terrific you know that, that it bothered us all night long and uh, they're good with the basketball they handle it well they, they do some really nice things uh, you know I, I didn't feel like our team played particularly well and a lot of it has to do with them you know what they did to us um, but once we were able to you know we were able to go on a few runs here and there we talked about it at halftime uh, how important uh, we got to stop their runs uh, teams Teams in the Final Four are going to go on runs and to be able just to stop it um, and uh, get after it defensively and uh, stop that from happening was a, a big piece. And, and I thought our kids did that. They, they uh, played tough tonight. We didn't play particularly well, but we played tough. And, and that's what we need to do to get to that state championship game. Just what's the feeling now, Don? Uh, feels pretty good, you know. Feels pretty good. Uh, you know, this has been a goal for us all year long um, to get to the state championship, and uh, you know, it, it's kind of surreal. But uh, we, we still got some work to do. You know, we, we want to win the thing. Um, that's why we came here. We didn't come to just enjoy it. Uh, we, we wanted to enjoy it, but win the thing. So, uh, hopefully, we can we can come out and play better tomorrow. Anybody? Any players want to comment on that? Go for it. Yeah, it feels really awesome. I think we all are just kind of like in shock from that game just because we didn't play our best. But I think our defense definitely won um, for us tonight. So hopefully tomorrow our offense can kind of match our defensive intensity we had tonight. Anybody else? <laughs> just the, uh, can I ask you kind of the, uh, what, was, what was tough about that defense uh, that made it kind of tough to score tonight? Um, I feel like we play better against the man, but we also can play against the zone, obviously. But their length really just like threw us off, and like because they have their arms up all the time, and that's what we talk about all the time is don't keep your hands in your pockets, and they definitely did not keep their hands in their pockets. <laughs> <laughs> so like that made our passes longer, and we just had to work through their length. How physical was that game? You in particular seem to be getting beat up out there. <laughs> She's also sick. How physical was it? Yeah. Oh, it was definitely physical, especially since I just got a bit in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Besides that, they do play hard, and they they came out and they wanted it just as much as we did. They they played pretty good, yeah. and a lot more physical than we did. But we just had to work through it. Yeah. yeah. Coach was a little tired than you would have liked there at the end. Eight point lead, so oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, multiple times we talked about, hey, we have a lead right now. Um, we're not trying to score uh, within eight seconds. Um, you know, we're not trying to write any books and and uh, anything like that. We just take care of the ball. Let's take care of the ball. And uh, they did a good job uh, late there, probably with you know 17 seconds and under. But from two and a half minutes to that 17 seconds, I, I don't know what happened to us. Uh, we were we just kind of went scattered brained a little bit and and um, we didn't have the poise that we've had so uh, hopefully you know we can we can have a little bit better poise uh, in our next one but uh, certainly we're going to have to bring the offense um, tomorrow night. Chloe, I'd like to ask you about the physicality of the game. I, I can't remember a game 
where you've been so involved physically. I mean, yeah. you, you took it to 30. Yeah. Down low and got a foul on her. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about your mindset going into the game. Yeah, I think her mindset, like for me individually, was just match that physicality and just don't, like, don't, um, like, don't um, be, like, <laughs> am I trying to say don't 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 go down just because they're going up like try to match them and be just as aggressive as they are Good. so yeah <laughs> so I, that's, I was like what am I trying to do <laughs> hey, could you talk a little bit about uh, Scott underneath it looked like he kind of went uh, like four they kind of go four yeah. around one and you yeah. kind of stayed on their shooters pretty much and it looked like she was kind of yeah. She uh, she does a terrific job inside. You know, uh, Kylie has all year long, and, and and that's been a focus of ours all year as well. Getting our hands out of our pockets, like De Destiny mentioned earlier, defensively, but also uh, not turning our backs to shooters, uh, making sure that we stay out with them. Kylie can patrol the middle. Uh, she certainly can, and and uh, once we trust one another, you know, we're we're in pretty good shape down there. Uh, she did a really good job tonight of just going straight up, um, contesting shots, and getting quite a few blocks or at least tips. Um, and, and I think that was a big key in the game tonight was Kylie inside. For the players here, CJ's never won a state team title. Not to jinx you, no pressure, but what would that mean tomorrow if you were able to win it? I think it would mean everything to us. I think we've all put in so much hard work. <laughs> it's kind of emotional, honestly, because we just worked really hard for this. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not emotional. <laughs> <laughs> She's not. <laughs> She's not. Go ahead. Well. <laughs> oh, you're trying to. Yeah. Okay. Um, it would um, it would mean a lot, especially since freshman year, we got our season cut off because of COVID, and I feel like to give it back to them, especially winning this, would mean a lot to them also, knowing that we've worked so hard for them and for every CJ point. team that has been to this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you saw our community has been supporting us, especially recently, so. I mean, we want to win it for them, we want to win it for each other, and most importantly, I think we are just, we have a lot of fun together playing basketball, and so more than anything, we just want to win it for one another. Tomorrow, last game with this guy. What are your thoughts, Allie? Honestly, try not to think about it. <laughs> um, it's going to be, I'm just going to go out there and play, play basketball. I'm not going to try to think about it too much, because as you saw tonight, I think it, we kind of got in our heads a little bit towards the end, just with the atmosphere, their um, intensity, so... I'm just going to go into, into tomorrow and play another basketball game. All right, Coach, you guys, there was never really any big run in the game, but you guys scored the last seven points in the fourth quarter. How big was that? Just to have a little bit of a cushion going into the fourth quarter. Uh, that was big. You know, that was big. We talk about winning each quarter. And, um, uh, against a team like that, you, you've got to uh, go on any runs that you possibly can, whether it's a 4 0 run, 6 0 run, um, with a team that that's it's as tough as they are. Um, yeah, that was huge. That was huge. It gave us a little cushion there in the fourth. We knew that they would make a run. They would, they would challenge us. Uh, I didn't know that we were going to turn the ball over that much. Uh, but, that, you know, you tip your hat to them. That's a really good team. You know, uh, they're, they're well coached and, and they play hard. And, and um, I thought our kids did too. You know, I thought they did too. They went for it. And, uh, you know, it mean a lot for us to be able to get to the, get another, uh, our only state title uh, in Carl Junction history, I think. Destiny hit it right up, hit the nail on the head there with um, our kids in 2020. We felt like we had a good shot that year, um, and to get the season uh, taken away by COVID uh, and a lot of things that had happened that year, uh, it hurts, it stings. So to get back here feels good, and and um, I'm just proud of these kids. Man, they've worked hard all year long, and basketball season is a long year. Uh, it is. It's uh, it's a long season. Our kids uh, fight fight through a lot of sickness and and um, become pretty tough. Um, so so I'm really proud of them tonight. Let's do one more. Then we got Kate waiting outside. Just to get the nerves out of the way, maybe tonight. Yeah, me. getting settled in was was big for us. You know, we have to get settled in. Um, you get in a on a stage like that with with um, you know baskets that don't have backgrounds and and uh, the the big crowds and everybody's playing a little harder, playing a little bit harder than what you're used to. So getting settled in was important for us. And once we did, I, I felt like we did some nice things there, especially through the middle of the game. Uh, hopefully we can clean up some of that nonsense that we had late. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.